off this front, um, Ken, did you, I know you've been busy, did you happen to catch the uh, press conference put together by Mr. Jerry Depoto soon after we heard those comments from Cal Raleigh about the Mariners not spending like they should be in the American League West? I am still confused and feel a lack of confidence based on the what was it, 54 or 56? 54%? 54 percent. 54 percent. 54 percent. 87 wins. And, you know, kind of bowing down to them for allowing Mariners fans to go through a little bit more losing before the winning. I didn't see the press conference. I certainly read about it. And I even wrote a little bit about it in my column today. Jerry Depoto, what he's saying, surely by the math, he's right. You want to win 54% of your games over a long period of time and put yourself in the best chance to reach the postseason, then you will be in position to win the World Series. But it's the tone and it's the idea that a fan base that has never experienced a World Series title is being told, you should thank us for being patient and going about it this way because, hey, we're doing it for you. We're doing the right thing. Jerry Napoleon... <coughs> has been to one postseason in eight years. And the patience level there is running short among fans, certain fans. I can understand that. And while his comments were not well put, in my opinion, the math, yes, I get that. But, man, it just seemed like there's a disconnect there. A disconnect between what fans are feeling, between what his own players are feeling, I'm referring to Kyle Raleigh, and where they're going. And the other thing about this is, that's an ownership that has spent on extensions. They signed Castillo to an extension. They even signed Robbie Ray in free agency. They haven't gone big in free agency. And what Cal Raleigh was talking about, Cal Raleigh was talking about was the Rangers, the team that they're playing, they've spent like $800 million on free agents in the last two or three years. When you lose out to that team in the end, which is what happened with the Mariners, as a player, you're going to want more. And that's not an unreasonable feeling for Cal Raleigh. Not an unreasonable feeling for Mariners fans. So that's kind of my reaction to it. I thought the remarks were unfortunate. You talk to a lot of GMs or sources that are in front offices. Do a lot of them talk this way? Do they talk in a, to me, it feels like a mitigating type of, well, you know what? Like, we're just going to try our best instead of as a player, you lit, sit there and you go, I'm giving up years of my life. I am giving up, I'm playing pain, you know, through pain for this to make the playoffs. Do a lot of GMs talk this way? The way that Jerry did Let's, actually open out in the open? I was going to say, Eric, not so much openly, but as my colleague Evan Drellick at The Athletic wrote the other day, there is a sustainability fetish in this sport. And you hear it from a number of executives, presidents of baseball operations, general managers. They talk about sustainability and building a sustained contender. Hein Bloom talked about that a lot in Boston. And that's fine. And there's a friend of mine, John Lowe. He is now a writer who has been honored by the Hall of Fame as the BBWA Career Excellence winner. And he used to tell me, you try to win a World Series every year, you don't win a World Series any year. And I understand what he's saying there. But there is an in-between area where you are trying to win a World Series while still trying to be sustainable. And it seems to me too many teams take the easy path, occupy their sustainability fetish, and don't really take the necessary steps toward that final goal. And we all know, guys, the postseason is a crapshoot. And there is a randomness, a luck involved. You get hot, you're not, whatever. But what do fans want? I go back to Evan's column the other day. This is entertainment, man. This is drama. This is what people pay for. They pay to see their teams try as hard as they possibly can. And when those teams don't do that and then make excuses, it doesn't sit well.